Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NAKD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Thursday, so that is where the green and red line annotations were coming from. And after uh, you know Thursday's price movement, it, it was a question of, hey, let's, let's first give credit where credit's due from where it was to where it ultimately worked its way up to. That was a very, very solid move, but that brought about the question going into today of, okay, you know, is, is there any sort of true power behind this price movement, or is this just some sort of dead cap bounce? And at this point, it's looking like it was just simply a dead cap bounce. What, what gives me the right to say that? Well, I mean, the price has literally essentially gone right back to where it was. I mean, made the move up, and now all of a sudden, it's gone all the way right back down there. Now, technically speaking, has it gone all the way back down to where it was? No, it hasn't come all the way do back down there. But you get the idea. You get the overall you know, uh, concept of what I'm trying to convey here is that the price is literally right back to where it was before that breakout happened. So now, am I, am I saying that the price can never, ever make another nice move again? No, I'm not saying that at all. Another way to look at this would kind of be back to the drawing board for the bulls because as far as that very nice movement that did occur on Thursday, there just wasn't any sort of power behind it. Because if there was, the price would have at least made some sort of progress forward, and that progress you know, being defined as staying up above 10 cents. So that's also what brings about the first key level of resistance going to next week, and that is just based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed above, or excuse me, below, they tend to act as resistance. So if there is gonna be any sort of attempted, uh, you know, bounce back to the upside, and then if the bull is gonna try to get things back on track, then 10 cents is gonna be that first key level that'll need to be broken up above and closed above. So as far as resistance levels, 10 cents, I'm just gonna get rid of that line for now. I don't wanna have too many lines all over the place. So 10 cents, key level of, uh, resistance and then as far as key levels of support are concerned right down there at nine and a half cents is essentially where that the buyers finally did step in right there so that was a good sign that you know technically speaking uh, you know the price does still have an opportunity to build a higher base i mean you could have a low there and a low there and there you go you got some stair steps still progressing in the upwards direction but i mean if the price now starts to break down below nine and a half cents at that point that's literally essentially putting the price right back down to where it was around the nine cent mark so we'll see what happens with it but yeah definitely kind of a, a buzz kill because Thursday was such an impressive day, but who knows, maybe the Bulls will try to get things back on track next week. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.